Hello, I'm librarian Kate Schelberg, and this video will show you how to add in-text citations and works cited or references list to your Google Doc using the citation tool. This how-to video assumes you have already added the citation or citations you're going to reference in your in-text citations. See the other video in the series for instructions on adding citations in Google Docs. So you have your citations added, but the citations are only half of the work of citing your sources. In-text citations are also needed within the text of your paper to keep track of the sources you are referencing or quoting. Let's take a look at how the Google Citation Tool can help with your in-text citations. Make sure the citation sidebar is showing along the right side of your screen. If it isn't, click on Tools in the menu, then Citations to bring it up. Now click in the place in your paper where you want to add an in-text citation. This is usually at the end of the sentence in which you've included a paraphrase or summary from your source. Or for direct quotations, it's at the end of the quote. In this example, I'll be aiming right here, after the quotation mark and before the period. Now go over to the citation sidebar and hover over the citation for the source. A cite button will appear, and as you can see, will suggest you insert an in-text citation. Just click it and the in-text citation will appear over in your document where you had your cursor. It places a number symbol or hashtag to mark the place where you would insert a page number. You can either delete the number symbol if the page number isn't needed, or replace it with a page number. Repeat this process for every sentence in your paper where you've referenced a source. Ideally, you'll be inserting those in-text citations while you write your paper, instead of trying to go back and add them afterwards. The last step is adding your complete works cited or references list. You need to get a fresh page in your document, so first go to the very end of your paper and click after the last character on the page. Now go to the menu under Insert and select Break, then Page Break. Go back to your citation sidebar and click the Insert Bibliography button down at the very bottom. The complete list of citations will appear in your paper in alphabetical order and formatted with a hanging indent. At this point, you can edit anything that doesn't appear correct or any mistake you notice. It's a good idea to double check each citation against a style guide, such as those found on the library website or at the Purdue OWL website. You will also want to change the bibliography heading to read Works Cited for MLA or References for APA. That's it. Give it a try and see what you think. Thanks for watching and remember to use the library website for help with your citations.